A BT reset is when you reset a BT system so that it pulls it out of a secure network and into the default home. You should do reset when you either lost access or you were never given access to a secure network. This means that you're locked out and you can't control the BT fixtures. Doing a reset will send them back into the default home, which is the Alliance network. And from there, you'll have access to the fixtures and then you can put them back into a secured home and make sure you share with anyone else that might need access to those fixtures. You could avoid doing a reset if you're able to recreate the secure network. You need to know exactly how it was named. So uppercase, lowercase, and spelling needs to be exactly the way it was created. If you're not able to do this, then you want to do a reset. You'll want to do the reset when you can see the lights turning off and on and blinking. These are all visual cues that will let you know that the reset has been done successfully. If you're using a TF series transformer, like a TF150 or the TF200, TF300, you have to use the toggle switch in order to perform the reset. On a TF150, you just use the dial to do the reset. So the very first position is on, and if you go back one, that's off. So those are the only two positions you need when you're doing the reset. If you're using a TF200 or a TF300 transformer, then the very first position up is on. The position back down is off. These are the only two functions you need when performing the reset. So to do the reset, you want to make sure the power is on, but you want to start in the off position. And then the reset goes on, off, on, off, on, off, back on. The lights will blink and turn back to white, and this is when you know the reset has been done successfully.